13,000 runners will pound the pavement this weekend at the Rock and Roll Denver Half Marathon. Everybody has his story about why they run, and one Denver team is going to be out there to find a cure for ALS. Here's our Karen Morfitt with the team's story. At the Greenland Athletic Club, members are working out with a mission. They're training for the Rock and Roll Denver Half Marathon, but they're also taking on ALS. Our goal at Greenwood Athletic and Tennis Club is to get people to move. This disease takes away somebody's ability to move. So it goes against every single thing that we stand for. About 33 employees and club members have joined Augie's Quest, a national movement to find a cure for the neurodegenerative disease. It's an incurable disease, and we just need more money to find that cure. I cannot imagine someone telling me that I will no longer have the ability to run. So it's something that really touched me. Sherry's aunt, Elaine, got the diagnosis that eventually led to her death. It was amazing to me how quickly the change happened, and um, it, was, it was incredibly sad. Now Sherry runs for her and for all of the people suffering the same fate. It pushes them to take on a challenge like a half marathon. And you go, I can go one step further. I can actually do that, so why not keep going? Why not push harder? Why not challenge myself to just remotely come close to the things that they are challenged with every single day? By the time they reach the finish line, Greenwood Team Quest for ALS hopes to have raised $100,000. In Greenwood Village, I'm Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First. Way to go, guys. Rock and Roll Denver Half Marathon comes up this weekend, and you can still register for the race at the Expo uh, today, Saturday. We have all your race weekend information at CBSDenver.com.